Hello, my Dragonborn Cupcakes, and welcome back to Skyrim. So we're doing a quest today that's kind of not really a quest. If what I understand, this is actually will never appear in your quest log, but it is definitely something you can do, and there's something really cool that you can get from it. So we are... Oh, there's a dead horse up here. Well, that's disappointing. Um, we are up here at... Bear Trap, huh? Uh, where are we at here? <laughs> We are at Frost Flow Lighthouse, just outside of Dawnstar and kind of near Winterhold. Um, Hobbsfall Cave is not far from here. There's a Imperial Camp not far from here either. And we want to actually go in here. Let's take a quick look around. I don't think there's much. Here's some potatoes and leeks. Do they really grow in this kind of cold weather? I don't know, I can't get anything to grow even in perfect conditions. So, you know, take that as for <laughs> what you will all right let's head in the front door here is no other way in okay so first things first let's just head straight in here you're gonna note that there is a poor woman in her underwear and there's a journal here so find the source of murders in the lighthouse uh quick note here i actually want to bring up the journal this is considered a miscellaneous quest it's actually not a quest quest so <laughs> just just in case you're interested in this like i said something good comes out of this though um, let's read this. After years of sailing from Hammerfell to Solstein and back, Ramati and I have finally saved enough money to buy that old lighthouse we spotted on the coast and are, mar are moving in next month. These Nords really know how to live. It may be cold, but you can't beat the tranquility of the of the watching icebergs to live out your silver years. Ramadi loves the place too, despite the occasional leaky ceiling. Manny and Sudi unfortunately seem miserable here. I know the kids are old enough to strike out on their own, but I hope they'll grow to love the peace and quiet here as I have. Manny and Sudi continue to bicker and harass each other, and they seem to have started in on their mother as well. Ramadi keeps finding things missing from the cellar. Sudi said she heard a noise down there, but Manny just thinks their mother is going mad from isolation. The very thought of it is ridiculous. She always wanted to retire here. Sudi keeps saying that she hears scratching coming from the cellar at night. I think she's trying to get to her mother's goat, but I'd better head into town to get a few traps just in case it's skeevers. Should only take a couple days. I just hope those two go easy on Ramadi while I'm gone. Oh gods, oh gods, why? I returned home to find my beautiful Ramadi killed in this thing, this horrible bug-like creature ransacking our home. I managed to kill the damn thing. I think it might be a Daedra. I've never seen anything like it. Oh gods, poor Ramadi. It must have come out of the cellar. I'm going down there and locking the door behind me to make sure they don't escape. I don't know if I'll make it out, but I have to save my family. So, yeah. Um, as you can kind of tell, things have kind of fallen apart. And it is, you know those things that the um, Falmer have? Yeah, that's what it is. So we're going to want to head down to the cellar. I'm going to grab, you don't need this anymore, right? Let's ran, actually speaking of ransacking their home, let's go ahead and, you know, ransack their home. I don't know. Oh, here's Ramadi's journal. Let's read this. We finally did it. We bought the lighthouse. I thought Hobd was just making idle promises all these years. What husband doesn't want to promise their wife the two moons from the sky, but I didn't think we'd actually manage to get it. Now, if I could only find where we put everything. I can't find my favorite cooking pot and it's slightly infuriating. Sudi and Mani seem unhappy, but they're still young and don't seem to understand that we just want to spend a few more years with them before they leave to see the world. I know they'll... Th they think their father will live forever, but I see his age creeping into his eyes. He made me promise again that when he died, I would put his bones in the lighthouse fire so he could look out over the ocean forever. Oh, those two get me get to me sometimes. I went to unpack some of our keepsakes from the trading ships we used to sail, but I can't find them. Sudi keeps saying she's hearing something in the basement at night, and Mani suggested it might be skeevers. You know I hate skeevers. Now I'm too scared to go down there at all. I'm glad I unpacked my favorite urn and put it safely on the mantle before those two started causing mischief. If they put a skeever in the basement, I swear. All right, so she thinks, or she thought, she, she dead now. Uh, she thought it was the kids. Obviously, that is not the case. I wanted to go in the end table, thanks. And steal their gold. It's not really stealing, right? They're dead. Maybe the guy's still alive. <laughs> Highly unlikely. All right, uh, this must have been the kids' rooms. All right, who's, here's Sudi's journal. I hate it here. Why do we have to move to Skyrim anyway? I miss the big port cities. There was always something to do and new people around, or even being a cabin girl on one ship we used to sail on would be better than this. Manny says we should run away, but I can't leave mother and father alone out here. Oh, what to do? We've been here for two months now and there's nothing to do. From the top of the lighthouse, all we can see at all 
but what? From the top of the lighthouse, we can see all the way to the college at Winterhold, but Father says that magic is for Tejo worshippers. The only interesting thing to have happened recently is that Mother snapped at us at dinner and accused us of stealing things out of the cellar. I did hear scratching down there the other night, but I thought it was just Father cleaning fish. I caught Monty in the center cellar a couple days ago, going through some of the barrels and crates. At first, I thought it was him all along making those scratches to play a trick on me, but I heard them again last night, and Manny was in bed. Father finally said he would go get some traps and poison from town in case it's skeevers. I'm really scared. It doesn't sound like skeevers to me. Manny won't listen. He thinks I'm just making up the noises and keeps sneaking into the cellar. Oh, why is he so stupid sometimes? I don't know why he keeps going down there, but I found the cellar key he copied and hid it in Mother's favorite keepsake so he won't find it. The scratching is getting louder. All right, so... <laughs> oh, there's a lot of blood in here. That's freaking awful. This is kind of a dreary place. Am, am I, like, right? Like... I know part of it, like, fell in, but still kind of creepy. Ooh, we've got a coin purse, an amethyst, lots of purple mountain flowers. I'm going to leave the other ones. We don't need them. <laughs> it looks like she was collecting them. All right, so that's all good and done. So she put the key... Aw, poor torch bug. In the urn. Let's grab that. We do not need any more magic potions. Has this fire been burning the entire time? That seems a little weird. All right, so there's the cellar door and here is the wooden door, I think. Just a wooden door. Okay, so we can open that. Let's unlock this as well. I'll be back. Okay, that wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. So that leads upwards. Let's head down. For, there's a lot of blood down here. Hello. Yeah, there's these little guys. These guys, I think they can poison you. I'm actually not sure. They got a nice little uh, spit attack, though. Ow, get off me, you bug. Nice, hit him. Take him out. Anybody else have anything to say? Why is there snow in here? So it looks like they ate through the wall. I'm going to assume it's ate, not just dug. Maybe that's how the snow got in. There's a lot of snow down here for just like a, an area down below. Okay, well that's fine. I didn't want to open this anyway. Jeez. Are you kidding me? Okay, just what the hell? Ooh, got our lockpick back and an emerald necklace that I don't know what we're gonna do with. We have so much stuff to sell and not enough speech in order to sell it. So this goes down. So this goes to frost flow abyss. Let's head in. Okay, what do we got here? Falmer? Probably Falmer. Falmer, why am I not freaking surprised? Bear pelt. Unless the uh, Falmer have all died because of the bugs and we're just... Why do I feel like there's a bow playing? I don't see any Falmer. It's kind of strange. Maybe the Falmer died and... All right, that's fine. The brooms again, all magical on me. Maybe the... Oh, no, there's the Falmer. I was about to say, maybe the Falmer is... are not here, but no, there are. There are definitely a Falmer here. Great, so we've got Falmer as well, though that actually is good for us because that means we can get uh, some stuff. Uh, looks like we found uh, Manny, who was the boy child. I, that does not bode well for the rest of the family. Unfortunate. Which way do we go? Wait, did we come in that way? I think we came in that way. So we want to go this way. Hello? How are you guys doing? Here's another Falmer. This is a Gloom Lurker. Now the Gloom Lurkers are much more powerful, but they're not actually doing a lot of damage to me. What, why do you suck? Good job. All right. Let's pull whatever off of the gloom lurker. Uh, lightning bolt staff. I'm not going to take it. We have so much to sell, you guys. It's actually really annoying. I need to get my um, speech up significantly. I think by at least another four or five. Probably more than that. Yeah, I would have gotten that to the face, but not anymore. 
Hello. Oh. Wait, spiders moved in here? Did I just one-shot that guy? No, I didn't think so. It must have been a combination attack from me and my friend. Is this a- Wait, you live with spiders? What is wrong with you? Enough of this. That was a dramatic death. What was that? Let's see. Elven arrows? I don't need those. Why did I take the, el the arrows? Spiders creep me out. Am I the only person that spiders creep me out? Like, it's just weird. They're weird and creepy. It does not help that the Falmer are involved because the Falmer are weird and creepy too. Okay. Uh, let me heal up. I might as well. I don't use my magic very often. And let's go ahead and bring in Lucian. Here. What's up, talkative buddy? He's got much to say. And I'm sure he's going to immediately start saying it. Hello? Oh, we found Sudi here. Bloodstained note. Um, they took father. There have been some... I'm, I'm leaning forward here because I can't read this. There had been some others brought down, but they led them off and we all heard there were screams. Now father is gone too. Oh gods, why I didn't I listen to Manny? Father's fever was getting worse and he kept mumbling about Daedra. I don't know where he was hiding it, but I think I know why he left me this dagger. Um, yeah, she, she's not great i don't know why i'm uh, sorry i don't know how long we've been down here father came down to find us but those things captured him as well i asked him if he'd seen mother or manny but i don't know if he could even hear me one of those big bugs bit him when he tried to get free and now he's feverish so, yeah so he did not do well and yeah there's an iron dagger down there um i think he meant it to like not to kill herself but for you know f defending herself and i think she just off herself, which is depressing, honestly. Uh, we got, we got, ah, oh, there's the gloom worker. We got friends that have issues with us. Is that a spider back there? Oh no, it's a bug. Can you, ah. Uh. So ice slows you down and drains your stamina. Just in case you don't remember. And I'm going to get owned here if I don't heal. <laughs> Luckily for us, we are okay. Yeah, I don't like, so uh, ice kills your stamina, electricity drains your magicka. I'm sure you all remember this. How long have we been doing this? How many episodes is this? How many times have we played through all of these? I don't even know anymore. What is this? That does not look good. So we've got two more enemies somewhere up here. Hey, there you are. Wait, where did uh, Lucian go? Did Lucian die already? You know, honestly, I wouldn't doubt it. We have not been having great luck with Lucian. I think we need a new companion. Um, let's grab those. Ah, ew. All right, well, I'm just gonna ignore that guy <laughs> since I don't think we need to kill him. How do I, where do I go from here? Oh, there's Lucian. Lucian is, all right, all right, we'll kill this guy. All right, so where are we? How did we, oh, we need to go this way. <laughs> I got lost, apparently. Oh, settle. Ooh, a flawless ruby. That's nice. I don't know if that's a guaranteed drop from that chest or not, but still really, really nice. So it looks like we have to go down. Ow! Yeah, it looks like we're going down. Okay. <laughs> Stop it. Stop. Stop your nonsense. All right, that one's done. Oh, here's another one. I need to heal. Actually, let's level up while we're here. Uh, I'm gonna throw some points into stamina. Yeah, we can carry more and do more power attacks. Um, need some eggs, because I sure don't. Hello. 
more of these guys. I hate these guys. They're not even that bad. Oh, watch out. We are right next to a sack. I don't want to move. This is going to hatch. They hatch into nonsense is what ends up happening. Yeah, with wings. Nonsense with wings. I have been poisoned. That's unacceptable. Okay. Looks like there are two of those things over there. Like I said, those hatch into the winged ones. And if I cannot fight those, that would be absolutely fantastic. I don't want to fight them. They're harder. They're annoying. Lots of skittering down here. Did I lose all of my companions? Am I just... Eh, am I just doing this on my own at this point? Alright. I'm gonna recharge my... Nightingale Blade. Oh gosh, there's one right there too. Which will pull stamina and health for me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh no! <laughs> Let's do an extreme healing, shall we? Uh, healing... I need extreme healing, thank you. Not doing well against these guys. I really need to increase my. It's also I'm poisoned, so I'm just dropping health like crazy. Let's use some of those. Wait, where is it? There it is. I'm just gonna swing wildly for no real reason. Die, 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 please. All right, which direction? Hey, Fendel! Welcome back, buddy. I think we need to go across. Oh god, we need to go across, and I don't know if there's a- wait, do we need to go across? No! We need to go over here. Oh, thank goodness. That doesn't look good. That thing looks terrifying. Alright, let's heal up. Let's bring- oh, of course I would get hit with that. Or a- that's a reaper? Okay, well, first of all, let's take care of the little guys. And then... Why is the big guy all the way over there? What is going on? Hey, you guys take care of the little guys. I'm gonna... Come over here. Take care of this guy. I definitely don't have Lucian anymore, but I don't know where he went to begin with. Alright, so it looks like this is the source of the murders. Um, the remains are in here, so let's grab that. He had some ebony armor, actually. Yeah, kind of depressing. Everybody is dead. But we did manage to get his remains. Now, if you recall, it said that he wanted his remains thrown in the lighthouse so that he could look over the ocean forever. So, let's head all the way around. I think this is the exit. <laughs> I hope this is the exit. Look at all the snow. Hello? Okay. Nobody else up here. There's a chest here, though. Elven Battle Axe of the Blaze. Not anything I want. I don't know if I have that. Do I actually have that? Already? I don't know. Oh, huh, well, that works. Um, wow, that is bright. That fire is bright. Let's head back up. Oh, no, let's head down. Whee! And I think this is the exit, so we just need to uh, make a left turn here. Yeah, I didn't realize that was there either. <laughs> Alright, back at the lighthouse, we're back in the cellar. So now that we've cleared out that, we need to go up to the top. And... Go all the way around. Oh yeah, there are bear traps, by the way, that have been triggered. I should probably have mentioned that. And we've already unlocked this, but we do have the key now, so that's that's nice, I guess. And we're gonna go all the way up to the top and go on up to Skyrim. Okay, so first things first, uh, we can't see Jack. I thought we were gonna be able to see, but we can't because, well, whatever. So here is the chest, but... We need a key for that. We need to go up here first. So here's the lighthouse brazier. And we put the rem uh, remains in there. And we get 
uh, something special actually. So if you go into active effects, um, sailors repose healing spells cure 10% more. So that's actually pretty cool actually. <laughs> Do we have the key for this? Can we unlock it? Yes, we can. So we've got a steel maze, glass of battle axe, gold, ruby, uh, necklace, a minor staff of turning, and some ebony armor. Um, I guess we'll take the battle axe. It's worth the most. Really nothing else going on here. Normally we could actually see pretty far from here if it wasn't blizzarding outside. You could see the college. Um, we're not too far away from there actually but there's nothing else here and we have completed that particular quest so i will see you guys next time uh there's a bunch of like little quests like this if you call it little because honestly you have to do a whole bunch but they have some really good um things that you can get from them i think they're really worth doing i'm gonna head back to winter winter hold no wait where am i going i'm going to White run. Uh, in between episodes, I'm going to drop some stuff off, sell some stuff, do that sort of thing. So I will see you guys wherever we're going next, next time.